Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Well, here we are with Sila again. We're going to review what we did last time, which was at the end of part seven. Uh, we have Kyle as a helper today. It is cold. It is somewhat rainy, so I do have a umbrella to protect my camera. But Okay, can we review today with a little bit of progress? We've been reviewing off camera. What we're teaching Sila now is jiha around the cones with the single treon. And if we can get good response, we'll go to the very next small step, which is jiha with the uh, log being pulled by Sila behind the single tree. All very carefully done. We're about to get some rain, so I'm opening this umbrella and this might scare Sila. You know, does she know what an umbrella is? She was getting kind of scared by Kyle's black jacket, but I said, don't take it off. If she's scared by it, if she's not being responsive to you, we need to deal with that fear. Ah, oh, what what did you do, Kyle, that you think sco spooked her? Uh, I, I was just straightening her thing, and I think the pooper got caught under her tail and just moved a little bit. Oh, something got caught under her tail, and he was just trying to straighten her britchin, I think. And, okay, that's okay. we got to be able to deal with tack. We've got to get their trust, their confidence. And so in today's session, maybe you'll just see us uh, review what we've already been able to show. Okay, and uh, she's stepping on, hmm, okay, let's, uh, we can bring the chain and the single tree to seal it easier than we can just line her up right now and what with the weather threatening us. Let's just do that. Let's try to get that chain through the britchen carabiners, through the ring, on the surcingle, and then onto the hook that are in the front of her yoke. We've done it many times, but it hasn't been cold and rainy. And you know weather has a lot to do with training. Okay, Kyle, very carefully lift the, go ahead and lift the single tree and put it behind her. No, behind Sila. Yeah, right, okay. And everything, not too carefully, because they kind of get scared if you're too careful. But line up that chain. Uh, and give Angela the other chain. She can be doing that. We've done that many times. But it has to be lined up. We have to try to keep, oh, we have to try to keep everything symmetrical. Okay, so she's, she's worried because we're not doing it in the way we have done it in the past necessarily. That's okay. This is just going to take repetition. We're showing you how. We're training little mini Zebu Heifer Sila. And we use the same training methods with our Morgan horses and years pack. We've used the same training methods with her mom, Susie, and her dad, Rusty. And all those shows are up on the Urban Cowgirl channel. Right now, if she keeps moving her hip over, it would be helpful, Kyle, get behind you. There's the arm extension. Can you go get that and give that to Angela? We need to uh, have Sila understand that when she feels that pressure on her hip, that she's to uh, respond to the pressure. And the pressure is trying to tell her, if she understands the message, not to swing the hip over. Swinging the hips over for a horse are, can be very complicated too. So I just keep transferring the principles I've learned a lot through RFD TV and a lot through decades of riding and training um, to the training of my zebus. Okay, I would use that uh, arm extension, give it to, that's it. Behind the drive line. Here, Kyle, why don't you come and do the camera for a minute and be careful because the wind is coming up so we don't want this uh, umbrella to get away from us. Let's see if uh, my experience and timing will help here.
I'm going to back off because she's behaving. Remove the pressure when she's behaving. Steady. Good. Go good. Oh, now. Oh, now. Let's see if we can get these chains on. And Kyle, if there is any. Yeah, if there is any problem, we'll expect you to just leave the camera and come and uh, help us. Step up. Step up. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Okay, let's see what pressure back here does. Over. 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 Now she's going forward. That's not a surprise. Come on back. Uh -huh. Steady. Whoa, whoa. And I'm putting it in front of her eyes now. She does respond to visual blocks. Uh -oh. ah. Okay, I gave her. For the wrong answer, I gave her pressure. Easy now. Okay, wait. I'm going to move the single tree to her. And if this, if this task takes us the whole session, that's okay. We need to do this one step at a time until we reach success and can reproduce it consistently. It's all right, Sila. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, Sila. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not doing anything sudden, but I'm not being really careful because that can be spooky too. Good girl. Good girl. You concentrate on keeping a little bit closer lead line control. You've got so much space between the halter and the lead line that if she didn't start walking off, she wouldn't feel your pressure. Okay. Through the carabiner. Good girl. Through the ring on the sur single. One, a ring that has nothing else in it. We try to keep things simple here. Good girl, Sila. On the hook, on the oak. It's all right, Sila. It's all right, it's all right. Now because uh, she allowed me to do that, I'm gonna stay here at the single tree unless she gets really spooky and then, Kyle, you come and help, okay? Okay. Just step three steps forward. No G and no ha today. Step up. Step up. Step up. Steady. Whoa. Oh. Better, better. Whoa. Make it real loud your request if you're not getting the right answer. Real loud. I think it's time because of, I know she can do it, and we're just having a behavioral problem today to put it down, but I'm holding on with this handle to step up again three steps. I'm holding the chains up so she doesn't step over them. We're not, we're not getting good responses like we did in our last couple sessions. So we're just going to repeat this and we're going to show you that that's what we have to do in order to get consistency and confidence, mutual confidence. Okay, again, I'm leaving the single tree on the ground. Step up. Yes, good. Good. You can hold on to that. Sheila. Especially as a Step visual up. block. Ready. Move. Move. Good. Better. Okay, I'm going to put this down. Feel comfortable standing there for a minute? Okay, because I want to go get the log. It's all right, Sila. Kyle, if we need to, you're going to come and yeah. grab this. It's all right, Sila. I'm just going to walk as if there's nothing scary going on here. I'm going to pick this log up. Fortunately, it's not too heavy for me to pick up. 
but it is solid. It's much heavier than the single tree or than our ABS training log. It's all right, Sila. It's all right. It's all right. Good girl. She's watching. Putting the log down. Not with a lot of noise, but not real quietly either. It's all right, Sila. Pulling the quick release latch. Hooking up the log. Three steps forward. Sila. Step up. some figure eight. G, say G, say it real loud, Angela. There it 
There's a ha. Good. Okay, back here. Another figure eight. Say it loud. Yeah. See, it's that kind of movement. It's that kind of response that I want to get with the single tree on being pulled by the chains and then the log on the single tree. And if we can get that consistently, well then we'll show you that she can also pull in the G and Ha direction, the stone boat. We've shown you how beautifully she pulls it in a straight path. But let's face it, if you're gonna be do, doing farming with your livestock, sometimes have to go right and left. So as a matter of fact, right and left, sometimes over the haunches, which would be yet another task that we have to train them. And we did that with Susie and Rusty years ago uh, because these are not vehicles that they're pulling. To ask them to go back to get out of a corner it doesn't make sense. But if you can get them to pivot over their haunches and then pull them out of a corner, you can safely go on with your task. And so that would be one of the, our last, last training chores, and that is teach Sela to pivot over her haunches. And we know how to do it because we did it with Susie and Rusty years back. So that's all for today. Sela seems happy, she seems relaxed, and that's a good moment of resolution. Here we are with Sela, our next session. And we are backing up a little bit because we haven't worked with her for quite a while. And she was a little bit of a handful to even tack up, which is a message to us. We've got to work with her more often. We got busy with the horses. Go ahead, Angela, around those cones. And um, Scott is going to keep the single tree up. And he's going to make sure he stays behind her and a little bit of tautness with the chains that are the tugs. We don't want them down to the bottom of her ankles in case she does start spinning her hips around or not stopping straight. This is the kind of body language we want to see. This is the kind of smooth movement we want. And she just did a ha movement a few sessions ago. Ha was a little bit challenging. Now she's doing a nice G. She's trying to resist a little bit, and Angela knows to do a serpentine and a little bit of a tug if she has to. Good. Okay, now Scott knows that our next tiny baby step is to bring that single tree down almost to her ankles, but don't let it drag yet. Keeping in mind that those chains now are lower, so we don't want her stepping on the chains. Now she's saying, wait a minute, I don't want to go but she's being good. So far, little Sila's being good today, at least the part that you're seeing. I wasn't out here when she was being tacked up, but she'll get good again. We just have to work with her more often. Good, good. Now the next time around, and there comes her mom down the east corridor, probably to see what her daughter's doing. Next time around, on the straightaway, go straight, Angela. Let him put it down, the single tree. It's going to make noise. Try to leave it down, even if she gets a little bit stressed. Because if you pick it up, she'll think, all I have to do is show stress, and what's bothering me will go away. Oh, that's very nice. Very nice. Now pick it up as she goes around. Ha. Huh? Yeah, pick it up a little higher. Yeah, just because we're not quite sure about the G and ha huh movements yet. Then back down again. We're doing tiny baby steps, showing Sela that none of this, this is going to hurt her. She's hearing it. Her ears are back. She's listening for it. Okay, she just got a little bit spooked. Okay, and down we go again. We have a long chain on as a handle, you see, on the single tree. Okay. She's doing good. Now, when you go around the cone again, try to keep it down, but stay behind her so the chain doesn't get too close to the back of her legs. And I told you her mom was coming to watch. Here she is mooing at us over here in this nearby corral. That's okay. I like them to be able to be close. And by the way, her mom Susie learned this years ago. and She got really good at it. And so did Rusty, her papa Rusty. Wonderful. This is a great deal of progress. Good. 
All right, now the question is, do we want to go on to having her pull the log, which is sitting right there on the driveway with a chain, two chains on either end, waiting to be attached to the single tree. And here's my decision. We're going to put the log on, but not do a G and ha, just a uh, straight pass, OK? And then uh, that will be our, our little step today, our tiny baby step of improvement. We'll try to find a note of resolution. We'll try to do this again tomorrow. Very nice. So you're going to stop. I'm going to go get the log. Yeah, you guys just stay still here. We'll keep the camera on. Sila. I picked up the log and walked around Sila in both directions, letting her hear the sound of the log rubbing on the ground. She was fine. Her ears were moving back and forth. She was trying to listen for the sound, but her eyes weren't bulgy. She wasn't dancing around or swinging her hips over. She was blinking her eyes, which is a good sign because a prey animal, when they're scared, will not even blink their eyes. So here I am going in the other direction. And then we attach the log to seal a single tree and we carefully allowed her to pull it. Now we are hooking up the log to the single tree, letting her feel the weight of it. You can see by the tautness of the tug chains when she, she is actually pulling the log. We felt comfortable to ask her to go on a straight path with the log down on the ground. We watched her body language. At first we had a handle on the chain, which is behind the log, so we could pick it up quickly or move it over quickly in case she did start to dance around or somehow get the chains caught between her legs. We first asked Sila to go forward in a short, straight path. When we asked Sila to do a G-turn, we picked up the log so that she wouldn't feel the chains on her legs as she was doing the turn, not at this stage of her training. But then when we got into a position where she could give us another straight path, we put the log out, even on the turf, which made it sound differently. But Sila did fine. We were watching her body language. She did not show us any stress. Here we made another G-turn, picked up the log, and continued on a straight path. Sila got an A+. At our next session, we're going to have Sila try to go around the cones after, uh, with the log on the ground after we're pretty sure she's OK on this session with having the log on the ground and pulling it. We're coming from the other direction today. Let's go. See, let's step up. First, we're doing it without putting the log on the ground. But you know, you could pull back a little bit. Yeah, you, can yeah, you could put the single tree Easy. down. You can Easy. pull back. Easy. We just have to let her know it's back there. She didn't get step scared last time. So will she get scared today? We don't know. But we're prepared with a team of four to help her understand that she should have confidence. Good. Now we're putting on the single tree step up ha we're doing a ha turn which two or three sessions ago she got all riled up she did a beautiful ha turn today okay put the log down be ready to pick step it up, up with the chain handle you now you what angela mm -hmm. and when you have a long 
log, you got to think about going wide around the cones. Just like logging horses when they're logging in a forest, I always have to keep in mind what is the radius the that the horse can pull the log through without running into an existing tree that isn't being cut down. That's kind of what we're practicing today. Good, very nice. Okay, think about going wide around the cones. Good. Go even farther down, use the turf so that you don't have a narrow turn. Step of G. Oh, that left chain is touching her. That's okay, I was okay on it. As long as she was, you didn't have to pick it up. If we're getting good, body language. Okay, let's go. Step Think up. of a wide turn. Step of paw. The log is on the turf. It's not making Easy. as much Ooh. noise, but oh, Ooh. she got scared. She got Ooh. scared. You see Easy. how we're trying to stay behind? Easy. Yeah. Okay, good and girl. what you're hearing is Susie behind us watching. Let's try again, straight path. We're not ready for too much serpentine yet, but I hope we will be shortly. Celia's standing light nicely now, but you Step saw up. how Scott had to move fast to stay behind her. Very important with cows, with horses, with oxen. Good, good. Now when you have a wide turn past that east cone, a wide turn, good. Let's try a haw turn. Step up, huh? The log is running through the leaves. It's on the turf, on the driveway, everywhere, making noises. Good. Well, she's doing good. Good. Now try to go beyond this cone and make a wide G turn. We're not letting go of the log yet, especially because she just flipped at something. And just that extra split second easy, to lift up the easy, log could have been... Easy. Crucial, good. Step up. So she started going G, but now she's going ha. It's okay. Step up. Good girl, Hila. The idea is to get through the trees when we're logging. Right now, the trees are being simulated by the cones. Try, try to go up. a figure eight through it. Watch the, yeah, watch the cone behind you. Think about. Whether or not the single tree and the log is going to touch girl. the cone when you turn. Step up G. Another wide G turn. The Good chain was girl. touching her back legs, especially on the left side. Okay. I love that. I love that. That's our note of resolution Steady. for stopping oh. this session on pulling the log around the cone. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com. <laughs>